And now, a can't-miss moment from The Charlie James Show. It wasn't long ago we are asking everybody to show up at the Spartanburg District 1 school board meeting, and you guys responded brilliantly. Joining us right now is uh, State Representative Josiah Magnuson, also a Freedom Caucus member. Josiah, welcome to the program. How are you, sir? Thank you, Charlie. I am doing fantastic. How I'm, are you? I'm doing great, especially when I hear things like all of these good common sense reser- uh, conservatives showing up at school board meetings to make sure that their voices get heard. It makes it does my heart good, doesn't it, you? It, it does me, too. I was there on Monday night, and let me just say I am so proud of my community and the District 38 uh, constituents who showed up and spoke out. I mean, we had, a, uh, I think it was around 20 pastors, yeah. uh, as well as a number of parents. And, um, you know, they were respectful, but they were bold and courageous. And I was just so grateful, you know, for, I think it shows that we do make a difference when we take a stand for what's right. Absolutely. And it seemed like everybody, and you, uh, you correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like everybody on the school board was kind of in agreement with every, with all the speakers, right? I think so. I mean, I, I think that they uh, needed to be with <laughs> with that sort of public yeah, yeah. Uh, outcry going on at the at the moment. But um, I do think that there's probably a majority that is going to be behind um, trying to create a policy to keep pornography out of school libraries. Um, what I'm hearing is that there will be a, um, a a new policy that will be addressed in October. So that's the October 9th meeting. Now, the the caveat there is we've been hearing this for several months now yeah. you know, that they're working on something. So it's always a, a question. I mean, we don't count our chickens before they're hatched, but we do. I, I would agree. I, I think that we're moving in a good direction in, you know, fingers crossed. We're going to see kids protected in District 1 schools. But we have to keep the push on. We can't let off the gas now, right? Absolutely. I mean, there, you know, there's so much value to fighting and speaking out. You know, a lot of these folks that have an agenda of socialism and, and, and the, you know, queer catalog, as Emily Drabinsky says, you know, mm-hmm. that's the lesbian Marxist, you know, who's now in charge of the American Library Association, you know, she is pushing this stuff. I mean, people at the national level, they have this agenda and we've got to fight back. It's a real evil. And, um, and, and it is children's lives and children's hearts that are in the balance. So, yeah, we don't need to be more quiet. They want to push us down and tell us to shut up, but we can't shut up. When the leader of the National Librarians Association shows up at a uh, communist um, conference and they introduce her as a comrade, um, that should tell you everything you need to know about that organization, right? I, I would say so. I, th- yeah. I think they need to, uh, you know, get rid of of her as president of the organization. Um, I question whether that'll happen. I think the better thing would be for the South Carolina Library Association to just disassociate. You know, we've yeah. seen Montana and Texas do that. And um, and we've seen, of course, Ellen Weaver um, that has separated from the school library association. Sure. So um, I, I think that we're moving in a good direction. But but yeah, we need everybody at all levels to to be taking a stand right now. We're talking with State Representative Josiah Magnuson. Now, all of these people out there that are going, oh, these Republicans, they want to ban books. This is book banning. Nobody's talking about banning books. They're just talking about moving them into more age appropriate areas in most cases, right? That's right. So there's certain books that are just so sexually explicit yeah. and, and so dark uh, that you know, I probably would say I would support uh, taking them out, making them, you know, in an adult section. I mean, sure. normally that's how this would work. But um, but in a in general rules, you know, yeah, we're going to we're trying to take this out primarily of the elementary and middle schools. And then uh, and then the really bad dark stuff. I do think we need to take it out of the high schools. Yeah. And what should be happening. We don't want these books to necessarily go away. What we want is for parents to make the decision on who gets a hold of the books because it's not just a question of them sitting on library shelves. In some cases, what we've seen is these books are being recommended uh, by the school librarians, by the AP teachers, um, or even required reading. So we're not just talking about books sitting on shelves. We're talking about them being pushed and pressured on students in the schools. 
And I, uh, from what I heard, there was one speaker there that that actually said she was in in or they were in, in favor of these books, saying they 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 um uh, 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 enable the people to um express themselves better or, or they can they can it, it opens up a dialogue of more talk i mean that's that is not even true we know that this is just pornography that's in front of these kids and and hopefully we can get it out of the the reach of children i mean it's just like it's just like prescription medicine you want that to stay away from kids don't miss the charlie james show weekdays three to seven on news talk 98.9 w-o-r-t the voice of the carolinas